What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a Midwest family. From the title of the video, I'm pretty sure you kind of figure out what's going on. We got a new mower. Been wanting one of these for a very long time and um, we pulled the plug on one. So we opted for the Hustler Fast Track SDX. Um, there is a few extra pieces on there as it sits. But otherwise, this is basically how we got it. Um, I opted for uh, the flex forks and the quick shoot guard. So when you're mowing up to next to something that you don't want the, the clippings and stuff to shoot out, um, you, that flops down and blocks it. And then you push it forward and it pops up and been wanting one of those for a long time but the uh, flex forks help with the ride comfort it does have a little a uh, adjustable seat on the front there but it's you know not like super bougie I guess or you know springy or whatever you want to call it um, they did have a sale going kind of promo but we we got the fast track this is the uh kind of entry commercial level model what you want to call it um i did get two gallons of the opti4 oil um it which if you bought two gallons of that when you purchase the mower I believe they add an extra two years of warranty on the engine so that's kind of a no-brainer uh, it's powered this one's got a Kawasaki FX 691V which is the um, fully commercial engine which I'm not sure what the difference is other than this style of air cleaner um, it does have two gas tanks, so Granger, you're correct. One's right there and one's on the other side. Yep, and they have float gauges on it. Yeah. And then it has the, the level or uh, tank switch there to change from one side to the other. It does have USB uh, ports on it. Not really sure like what for, but they have those. And uh, we got it with an hour and a half. I don't know if you, oh, there it is. 1.8 now. We did run it. Um, as you can tell, it's a little. It is a little dirty, but we got it. I think Wednesday, maybe Thursday. I think it was Wednesday. They delivered it to us. Um, we made like. I think three, four laps around the past year. Um, I lowered the, the the roll bar because going under the tree. Um, so obviously you're supposed to have that up. I did drop it down for that. Um, we'll move it again. But uh, yeah, pretty excited. Um, it's the 54 inch cut deck. They had a 48, 54, and a 60. I thought the 60 would be too big. Um, I am going to move these up a notch. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, so they're, they'll be a, a couple inches taller. Um, I did move the scalp wheels down. But uh, yeah, she's pretty nice so far. Nice seat, way better than the uh, Craftsman Garden Tractor. The wheel motors, trans axles, or whatever you want to call them, they're pump and motor together. So they are serviceable. Probably can't see it. But. It's the Hydro Gear ZT 3400s, uh, and there's an oil filter 
behind that. So there's two of those, one for each side. And you got your hydro reservoir there for this side, over here for that side. Um, this is new to us, but I'm going to find out after they delivered it and everything. It is a 23 model. So it's not a 2024. Um, they did say there is absolutely no difference between the two years. Uh, I think there's a different seat. I think they changed the from gray to a different color. But other than that, he said there's no difference. We'll see. But, um, what else? The, the, uh, they did have a, like I said, a deal going, open house special. Um, if you bought a fast track model, you got $600 worth of DeWalt tools in stock for free. So like I said, we, we got the oil, That's that'll be nice. Um, I think these were $70 or $75 a piece, so it was like 150 bucks for two gallons of that. Uh, and you got an extra two years, I think, of warranty on the engine, so I thought that was worth it. But uh, yeah, cup holder. Uh, I think these hold four gallons each, or I don't think they're quite five gallons each, but I can't remember. But uh, you should be able to get a lot of mowing done. So yeah, pretty excited. Foot lever, raise and lower, and then you just move your pin, move your pin to whichever you know, whichever height you want, uh, or currently set at three inches. So, the uh, little bit we did run it, cuts good. I like it. Um, we don't have a lot of grass. We have some, a lot of weeds, and a lot of uh, thin spots. So, I guess time will tell on you know how it how it works but we'll get uh, we'll we'll make a few laps and uh, go from there let's get it jump on here we'll uh, start this I did forget to say this unit has like no grease zerks on it. Uh, the spindles are non-greasable, they're all sealed bearings. The only thing you grease on this is on the front wheels right there. Otherwise, there is no grease zerks. Um, there is a 10 hour break in on the engine. So we'll change the oil after we hit 10 hours and then there's a 75 hour on the hydros and then I think the manual says to change the engine oil after every 100 hours. I don't think I'll do that. I'll probably do it earlier than that. Oil's cheap, engines are not. Well, oil's kind of cheap. I don't think I'll wait the whole hundred hours. We'll see how things go. But first impressions, I like it so far. Let's uh, do a little mowing.
you start the blades, they tell you half throttle to three quarter before you engage. And then when you disengage, you want to be half throttle or less. too shabby way better than what we were using um, for for what it was I think it cut pretty good um, it was pretty pretty tall there's a few stragglers but um, I'd say from cutting it 
eight inches tall to three inches it did pretty well um we were moving not like you know super slow but we weren't going like super fast um but perfect this will be really real nice it's gonna be real nice we just got to keep it clean look what this thing has done Dad. so yep i think mom's gonna like it i know i'm gonna like it uh, we're at two hours now so there you go that was 0.2 hours of, of fun right there so but uh we're gonna we're gonna play around with it a little more we're gonna use that fancy blower so we'll see you guys in a few minutes stick around so mama's on it She's just going to town. She's got the shoot blocker down, so I think it's making a little more dust in her face than what she probably would like. But it is really dusty. We really need some moisture. got that going for us what do you think Good. yeah super dusty stay out safe. stay safe all right so we did some mowing we got two and a half hours on the clock now um, we basically just did the pastures the boys were mowing the yard earlier this morning um, but it is extremely dry here and uh, we are really dusty and dirty now. So we are going to give this blower a shot and see what we can do with it. Um, it is super dry here. I'm really happy to have this heavy duty commercial uh, air cleaner on there. Help get all that fine dust out. But. Uh, we're gonna open this bad boy up. Oh, look at that, it came with a battery. Sweet. I don't know. I guess if I looked at the box, it says it comes with one. This is the DC BL 72 2P1. But, uh, battery and a charger. Sweet. Instructions, tube, I should figure out how this goes together. Just like that. Sweet. I'm actually kind of excited about this. Make 
sure this needs to get charged. Yep. Sure. This is a full battery. Now you can see that all three bars are lit up. I think it did pretty good. I mean, it's obviously not a you know heavy-duty blower, but I think for what it is, it does pretty good. So those are the transaxle gear pumps. They got a little fan on it to help keep them cooler. Um, it's just an all-in-one unit, which is nice, but kind of is bad at the same time. Because you don't, you just replace the whole thing if something happens to it. But you got a belt here, running the fans and the motors, or the pumps, I guess. So yeah, sweet. DeWalt. Yellow, so it even matches the mower. Um, I will have to scrape a little underneath there. We kind of got it got built up a little bit, but oh, all in all, I like it. Both. I bought the mower. The blower just came with it. But we're gonna end the video with that. 
stick around for future videos with the mower um, we'll get our 10 hour oil change in there and uh, I don't know if we'll hit 75 hours this year or not but at some point we'll hit the hydraulic change so we're gonna end it with that we appreciate you guys stick around watching we hope you stick around for the next one and we'll see you next time stay safe <laughs>